Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing how to make a card using one of the projects in Cricut Design Space. And I am making a Mother's Day card and I just love how this turned out. Also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It's completely free and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. And I'll just show you how I put this together in Design Space first. I'm going to be using the project section in Cricut Design Space and they have a whole bunch of different projects that are already made for you and I am going to do a Mother's Day card so I'm going to search for Mother's Day I'm also going to click on all categories and you can narrow it down so I am going to click on cards and then you can see here is all of the cards that come up that you can make and if it has the little green sign here with the A, that is Cricut Access. So if you pay for a subscription for Cricut Access, then you can use all of these in here. If you don't pay for a subscription, then you'll have to just pay for the card like this one. It shows that this was 99 cents. Some of them are more uh, than that, but quite a few are just 99 cents. And I decided I am going to be doing this card here. I thought it was really cute with the flowers and yeah, this one is actually free right now I think sometimes Cricut just has projects for free for a limited amount of time so if you're doing this later and see that cost money that is something that they kind of change often but right now it's zero dollars so then you can see different views of the card at the top here and then when you scroll down you can see that there's a description, it's a draw then cut feature, and it'll show the different materials that you need to cut it out, cut it out with, and it'll show all of the tools that you need. And right here it says single scoring wheel or double scoring wheel. That is only if you have a Cricut Maker that you would use those. So I have the Cricut Explore Air. So with that machine, I need the scoring stylus. So you can still do this project if you don't have a Cricut Maker. You'll just need the scoring stylus. And then it shows everything you need for that. It'll also explain how to make it here. So then with this project, you could go ahead and click make it, or you could go and customize, which is what I am going to do. So here's my card and I want to customize this a little bit. And what I want to do is I want to make each piece, whatever color I am making it. And this helps me so much by visualizing what I'm doing and it'll uh, separate it um, on each mat. So this green piece here is the envelope and that's going to be a purple color. So I am going to select that and you can see that score and cut is highlighted. So I'm just going to select cut and then I'm going to come up here and I am going to change it to a purple color. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want this piece with the little flowers on there. I want that piece to be blue. So I'm just going to change it to a light blue color. And then my background here where it has the light blue, it's going to be a pattern color. So I am just going to select on just that square and I am going to change that just to a random color so it'll just change it on my mat. I think I'll just change it to green for now. And then I'm just going to go over to my little pieces here and these are all for the flowers. So I am going to be doing a blue, purple, and pink flower and then I'm just going to have three so I'm going to delete this white piece. And then these are just for one petal so I need 30 of each color. So I'm going to select the purple one and I'm going to change that color to a blue and I'll change it to this same blue as this one and then I'll keep this one pink and then this one is going to be purple and I'm gonna change this one to a different purple from this one because it's going to be cutting on two different pieces of material and I don't want it to cut out on the same mat so I hope that makes sense basically with the mats it separates it by colors so I'm gonna have this be purple but it's gonna be a different material so I'm gonna change it to a different color purple and then this green part is our leaf. So I'm going to duplicate these so I have 30 of each petal. So I'm just going to duplicate all of those now. And 
And then for the leaf, we need 17 of these. So I'm going to duplicate that 16 times. And if there is an easier way to do this, let me know. I have not really looked into that if there's a faster way to do this. Okay, so I have all of these duplicated. You can't see some of them because it's underneath here. But if there's an easier way to do this, let me know. I know that when you click on make it, you can make more than one copies, but that will duplicate the whole entire project. And I feel like there has to be an easier way than just hitting duplicate so many times. So definitely let me know in the comments if there is an easier way to duplicate these. But now we have all of our pieces for our petals. Actually looking at this, this part that I have green, I actually want it to be this pattern background. And since these are green, it's going to put it on, a, on the same mat and I want it on a different mat. So I am going to change this green color to just a random different color. We'll just do a gray. So now I'm going to show you how this all looks on the mat. So I'm going to click on make it. So here it separates it on each mat and it'll separate it by colors. So you can see the first one here. This one is a score and cut. So the score is going to make a crease on this line here and then it's going to cut out this card. And then the next one it'll do, it'll prompt me to do this one, which is, which is a draw and cut. So I will put my marker in the machine and it'll draw and cut it out at the same time. And then I'll just keep going down and it'll show me which one to do next. So here are the flower petals. Those are all cut images. And this last one's a score and cut. So, so I'll just start with this one first and then I'm going to click on continue. And then once I start using this on my machine, it'll just go through each one. And then when it's done, it puts a little check mark on the layer that it's done with. And then I have my dial set to cardstock, and I'll show you how I make this on my Cricut. The first mat is a score and cut. Here is my scoring stylus that I use for my Cricut Explorer Air. To insert the scoring stylus, open the clamp A holder and hold the accessory clamp up while pushing the stylus down into the holder until it clicks and the arrow on the stylus should disappear. On the computer, my color was a gray color, but I am using this pattern heart design for the card and I just placed this on the mat and I insert it into the Cricut and then I let it score and cut. I also like to use my blue light grip mat when using cardstock. You can see here the scoring stylus presses into the cardstock and it just makes it easier to fold the card. Once this is done cutting, Design Space will automatically go to the next mat, which is a draw and cut. I took out my scoring stylus and then I put my pin into clamp A as well. Then I place my white cardstock on my mat and have my Cricut write and cut it out. The next mat I will cut out the pink petals. I like using this spatula tool to easily get the cardstock off of my mat. Next, it'll cut out the green leaves. Then I cut out my blue flower card piece and the blue flower petals. The last part of my card is the envelope. This is the piece where I had it purple on my computer, but really I'm using a pink patterned cardstock and the Cricut will score and cut this. I'm using Sobo glue. I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I really like this for cardstock and it dries clear. 
and I'm using my quilling tool to roll the flower petals. I bought this off of Amazon and I will link this down below. I place the cardstock in the slit of the quilling tool and roll it. After it's rolled, I let it go so it unravels a little. Then I open up the end of the flap and put some glue onto it and press it together. I put together five of these petals and then glue them onto the cardstock. Here's how it looks with the petals glued down. Next I grab an embellishment that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It has a sticky side on the back, but I also put some glue on it and press it into the middle of the flower. I love how pretty that embellishment makes this. Here I have the rest of the flower petals rolled and glued onto the cardstock along with the pearl embellishments. Next I use my quilling tool for the green leaves and glue those onto the cardstock as well. Then I turn the blue cardstock over and glue it on the edges and then place it over the white piece. Next I fold my pattern piece down. Then I take my adhesive foam circles and place this on my cardstock and this will give the card some volume. The other white piece I glue and place it on the inside of the card. Next I take the envelope and fold it at all of the creases that the scoring stylus made. Then I take my glue pen and glue the flaps down. Here's how the card looks after it's all put together. I just love how beautiful these cards turn out. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new.